English mastery, inverting mixed conditional sentences. Hello language enthusiasts. Today, we are going to explore a fascinating topic. Inverted mixed conditional sentences. This might sound complex, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand and use these structures with confidence. Let's dive in. Before we talk about inversion, let's quickly recap what mixed conditional sentences are. They're used when the time in the if clause is different from the time in the main clause. For example, if I had worked harder at school, I would have a better job now. This sentence talks about a past action affecting the present condition. Now, what is inversion? Inversion involves reversing the usual subject verb order in a sentence. In conditional sentences, inversion can occur to emphasize a point or make a sentence more formal. For instance, had I worked harder at school, I would have a better job now. Here, had I, replaces, if I had. Inverted mixed conditional sentences combine these two concepts. Here's the structure. 1. Had plus subject plus past participle, third form of verb. Subject plus would plus base form of verb. 2. Were plus subject plus to have plus past participle, subject plus would plus base form of verb. Let's consider some examples. Had I studied more, I would be a professor now. This shows a past unreal action with a present unreal outcome. Were I to have taken that job, I would be in New York right now. This indicates a past unreal condition with a present unreal result. To apply this in your daily life, try converting normal conditional sentences into their inverted forms. It's also a great way to improve your formal writing. Let's practice with an example. Convert the following sentence. If I had taken that opportunity, I would be rich now. What's the inverted form? That's right. Had I taken that opportunity, I would be rich now. So, there you have it. The structure of inverted mixed conditional sentences might seem complicated at first, but with practice, it becomes much easier. Remember, language learning is a journey, so don't rush it. Take your time in practice, and soon you'll be using these structures effortlessly. Thanks for watching, and happy learning!